It could be the final chapter for those red light and speed cameras watching you on the road. A new bill working its way through the legislature would ban them altogether. ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez is following this story for us live tonight in Mason. Allison, this bill, it, it has an uphill battle for sure. Yes, a very uphill battle, Stephanie. Uh, this isn't the first bill that is proposed to try and get rid of red light cameras like these, but they typically die when they go for a vote. But drivers I spoke to said they'd be all for it. I think one time it flashed at me when I was making a right turn. Miguel Rodriguez is one of countless people caught by these electronic speed patrollers. I got a ticket. But those days would be over if House Bill 2540 gets approved. The proposal would ban any municipality from putting up photo radars across the state. The backer of the bill says it violates constitutional rights and it could be flawed. Well, anything can go wrong. It's technology, it's not a person. The red light and photo camera tickets will set you back 165 to 250 bucks. According to the Mesa City Court, they collected about $274,000 in revenue from those tickets in one year. And some think those radars are all about the Green. I mean, everything is at the end of the day about money. Now, the next hurdle is getting through the Rules Committee. If it doesn't get caught up there, it will move to the floor for a vote by Friday or Monday. But could it happen after all? A ban on photo radar cameras on every street in Arizona. Yet another bill on the move tonight, and ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez is live in Mesa. Allison, this debate's been playing out, seems like, about a decade now. I mean, what's the push this yeah. time? Well, the backer of this bill says these lights right here violate your constitutional rights. And when we have a time like this, rush hour right now, where everybody is trying to get home, it's easy for people to try and speed on through. And if you do get that ticket, this backer says you can't face your accuser in court. And these tickets aren't cheap here. If you are caught, they will set you back anywhere from 165 to 250 bucks. And not all of these tickets are screened by an actual person. The House Bill 2540 would ban any municipality from putting these up. Anywhere in the valley, almost every year, a bill is proposed to ban those electronic speeding tickets, and it usually dies when it does go to a vote. Now, drivers we spoke to say they wouldn't be disappointed to see those pesky cameras go. I might be in favor of the bill, I think, to ban them. Well, anything can go wrong. It's technology, it's not a person pulling you over or them seeing you do something. Now, the bill is next going to go to the Rules Committee, and we could see it go to a vote on the floor by Friday or Monday. Stephanie, back to you. Oh, we'll be watching this one closely for sure. Allison, thank you.